guys, welcome to Xperia Tips, I'm Dom and today we're going to be talking about 4K HDR and why you should care about it. One word, innovation. Okay, just to recap on why I'm even making this video. The XZ Premium is the only handset with a 4K HDR display. In fact, it's the second only ever handset to have a 4K display in the first place. The first one being the Z5 Premium from Sony. For Sony to be pushing the boundaries like that and also to be continuing to widen the gap between them and their competitors when it comes to screen technology and innovation really is something quite remarkable. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. But why should I care? Right, well, in order to answer so that, we should probably take a slightly closer look at what 4K actually is and what's happened in the last couple of years. So, 4K is four times the resolution of full HD. So, just to put that into perspective, that's like having four XZ screens inside one XZ Premium display. And they've added the HDR capability as well. Anyway, let's rewind a little bit back to 2014 where I had the privilege of working on the Sony Mobile booth at Mobile World Congress. Sony had just announced the Xperia Z2 and it was the first Xperia smartphone capable of capturing 4K video. The amount of detail you could capture truly blew my mind. But getting a 4K display to view all that content on back then could be extremely expensive. So fast forward three and a half years and let's have a look at what the state of 4K is now. Pretty much every flagship phone and even some not so flagship phones released since 2014 have had a 4K video camera on them. And 2016 was heralded as a banner year for 4K TVs from the Consumer Technology Association. They forecast that 4K TVs were going to account for 56% of all TV sales in the last quarter of that year. And let's not forget, Sony is the number one manufacturer of 4K TVs worldwide. Not only that, but the average wholesale price of a 4K TV actually came down by over 20% in that year, basically meaning that the demand went up and the price went down, therefore making 4K equipment more affordable and easy to get hold of. But it's not quite as simple as just having a 4K camera and a 4K screen, there's a lot that happens in the middle here to give you the full 4K experience. Firstly, it takes an awful lot of processing power to not only capture that detail but display it properly without dropping frames or lagging or overheating. Speaking of overheating, it's like really, really hot in this office and uh, you can probably see all of the sweat on my face because this is filmed in glorious ultra high definition. So sorry about that. But thanks to the Snapdragon 835 processor in the Xperia XZ Premium, that is not an issue. In fact, according to YouTuber Phone Battles, you actually fill up the XZ Premium's internal storage of 64 gigabytes before the phone will have a chance to overheat. So, using the XZ Premium, you can not only create, but also display your own content in glorious ultra-high definition. Just like this video. But Dom, where's my mainstream 4K content? Well, although it's true that there aren't that many 4K TV channels right now, they are coming. Thanks to the likes of Sky and all the other big TV providers upgrading their services and investing in 4K. And there is plenty of 4K content online, not just on YouTube, but Amazon Prime Video literally has hundreds of 4K HDR titles. And Netflix, although it doesn't stream in 4K on mobile devices, it has enabled HDR playback on mobile devices, which, trust me, looks absolutely stunning stunning on the XZ Premium's 4K HDR screen. Isn't 4K just a fad like 3D TV? Clearly not. We live in a time when capturing, sharing and displaying 4K content is easier than ever and mainstream content is growing day by day and the XZ Premium is the only handset that puts that kind of power and choice in the palm of your hand and that is why you should care about 4K HDR on the XZ Premium. Don't forget to like, follow and subscribe and I'll see you next time for some more Xperia tips. Oh my god, it's so hot in here. Ah!